Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trevor Osidelli. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang, now. Um, on this video, I saw a particular video. Shout out to Precious Okani. I went on her TikTok and I found her YouTube um handle. Her name is Precious Okani. She dropped an update one year in the UK. How life abroad has been for her you know on this channel we talk about my life here in canada and also any updates we get from either uk or here in canada mainly um i'm going to be inserting the clip guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section after the clip of course we are going to discuss hey guys so i just completed one year in the uk and it's so painful that I can't brag of anything right now like this is what i've achieved i can't brag of anything and when i was in nigeria i don't calculate my budget calculate everything calculate my life say by this kind of time self i suppose i'll build one mansion for nigeria better mansion but nothing i never make my hair since i came to this country not less bread i made in nigeria Nai. I can't recall this UK and ever since then I've never made my hair just all back that's what I've been weaving for straight one year sometimes my hair is scattered you can check my video you can testify especially with my vlogs if not seen that video I did try I still did to shop for my YouTube but come on nothing I never change my phone I never change my hair I never even buy wigs to tell you how it can be in this UK it's not what you think. What do you think for Nigeria? Once you come here, just a reason for your head. So guys, I'm coming out to say this because I want to know. Those of you that have been in this country, after your one year, what did you like? What did you achieve? We pa I not get how many bush straight and I just see for my head. Even phone, I'm still using my iPhone S. So what's going on? What where my money they enter? Yes, I'm working. Yes. Sometimes I work five days a week, six days a week, but where is the money? God. I just woke up today and I'm like, let me reflect on my one year in the UK. And there's nothing to write home about. Hope I am not alone because just imagine one year I can't even brag of owning a land, a property. And most of my friends, they see me, they be like, ah, precious, you are doing well. The only thing I can brag of in this country is that I know they're hungry. I eat well. I eat like a big man. Life in the UK is that. Guys, share your thoughts. Hope I'm not alone in this. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts. Um, this particular video, I like the fact that, yes, different people will say different things. So, but she's being realistic, you know. Life abroad is different for different people, okay. Um, people can come in one year and make a lot of money. People can come in one year and not make so much. People can come in, like it's different things. From her background, first of all, from her background, first of all, you notice that her kids were talking, you know, like singing and all. I went down the TikTok videos to check. She has two children. Going abroad in Jakpa with kids. Hmm. To Jakpa with kids, you must be rich. Because you will gather, gather, gather. You pay for daycare. You gather, gather, gather. You pay for this one. You gather, gather. It's not like she's, she might not be making money. But the truth is bills. The bills will pile. So I want to tell those of you that probably, even though you relate with it, or you don't relate with it, or you're planning to come in and you're looking like, ah, oh my God, one year will not be enough. One year realistically is for balancing. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's not it's not easy for adults to pick up their life and move from one place to another place. The first year is for balancing. Make sure, like I always advise, make sure that your expense is as low as possible. Reduce your expense to the barest minimum. Just live a little above the line of comfortability. A little above the line of comfortability. That's the most important thing. You understand? Make sure that you're safe. That's the only way you can say, okay, you have savings. It might not be as, 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 as huge, but at least you have something that you've kept aside. And then understand that everybody's story is different. The one that's all their saving is for them, and the one that has kids, or the ones that have uh, parents or younger ones back at home, there's all these three people who have th three different experiences of um, their life abroad. Remember, I'm still owing you guys my one-year video. Don't worry, I will bring it. See, eh? Your girl, I've, I've been, I'm, I'm on you guys so many vlogs. I don't want to do voiceover for my one-year video. So don't worry about it. I will physically be present. <laughs> I'll be present to do the proper um, video. Like I will show my face. So I'm trying to find how to arrange my timetable to a day that I can be able to shoot that. So yeah, if all of us are going to have different experiences. Like me being in Canada now. If I had carried my son, I will have a different experience from my life now. Having 
come here via school and I didn't carry my son. My friend Fumi that came with her, her son will have a different experience from another of our friend Ari that has two children. So different people have different experiences and that's just based on how you came, what the, the, your lifestyle is. Like if you have two children, the house you will need will be a bit bigger than if you have one. If you have one, the house you will need will be a bit bigger than if it's just you. Do you understand? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, for those of you that have kids that are living abroad, tell us your experience. How has it been? Um, I know that in the UK there, we have um, YouTubers. Ah, there are many people I have not been able to watch their content for a long time. Kai, you push should forgive me. Boma is there. Boma's Essence, check out her channel. Boma is a YouTuber there. Um, I think Furo TV is in the UK. Adese Space just moved to the UK. Um, this Precious, Precious or Kani too, please you should check Precious out. Um, I think Yechi is in the UK. Yechi is a single lady in the UK. So Yechi's own experience can be different from Adese's experience. Adese has three kids. And Boma's experience and Adese's experience may be closer because Boma also has three kids. You know, Furo has two. So Furo's own. No, Furo has even three, Seth. So Fubu, Furo's own too with Ajay's own might be, you know, when it comes to different people, I think Prudence also is in the UK. So Prudence just came in and Prudence's own too will be different. So I feel like when it comes to relating it, allow people grow, especially when they land. This, the, oh, Jakpa is different things to different people. And some people had debts coming in. You understand? If you had debt back home before, before landing, it's going to be different. The way you relate is going to be different. If you check out her TikTok um, page, there are different people that are giving feedback. Some people say, hmm, it's only you that went through this one. No? Me, as I came in, I was able to buy car. I was able to change phone. I was able to do build house. She might feel bad, but um, Precious, don't feel bad. Though. Maybe that person now, that person now last born. All her money now for her. You, you have two children. The two of you are not the same. Exactly, like realistically, a guy puts there that his only achievement after two years is that he has brought his wife and he has paid his, his all his loan. That is a big achievement, but because you have not seen it in a thing of I've gone back home to buy land, no, little by little, take the first year to understand the system, get all your ducks in a row, make sure that you reduce debts. The, as long as your, your bills are no longer prayer points, you have achieved though. She was talking about the fact that she can eat anything she wants. That's a big achievement. That's a, a big achievement. Now, I'm going to be telling you things to brag about. For, especially for those of you that feel like there's really nothing to brag about living abroad. I know that realistically, all of us have been seeing our various kinds of shaggy in different parts. Those in the UK, those in Canada, those in Australia. Different people have been seeing different types of shaggy. But if you look back... One of the good things of life is when you remember, God says, when you remember, you're able to be grateful. In the, it's in the Bible. I think it's in the Bible. It says, um, yes, help me to remember so that I can be grateful. It said, um, things to brag about. I think the first one is your ability to pay your bills. So your lights, your utilities, your rent. Your rent is the most important. That's the biggest bill. If you can pay your rent, those that have cars, you pay your car notes, you pay your insurance, you fill your car, you pay your phone bills. All those things that have to do with bills, your groceries, you can pay it without pressure. That's something to brag about. Number two, if you have minimum to no debt. So you don't you have not piled any debt anywhere. Like debt might be even financing your car. Maybe you went to get a 2024 big um, Highlander Jeep. And now you're paying so much in financing. That's debt. You might be looking, you might be looking like you're living big, but <laughs> For those that have minimum to no debt, they are in a better place. That's something to brag about. Good shelter, like where you stay, is, is warm enough. Because sometimes, you know how Jakpa can be, especially us here in Canada. We just finished winter. Winter can be very cold, but your ability to be in a room where... Wherever you are, you're just, you're just happy to go back home. Because your room is warm, your house is warm. You can just sleep and forget all the stress and elements outside. That is something to brag about. That's one thing I always tell myself. Wherever I am, I'm like, let me just get to my bed. Let me just get to my room. There are many people that don't even like going back home because they don't like their space. So when you're in a good shelter, the third point, something to brag about. Number four is life. Of recent, I've been doing several videos about the heightened lack of security 
with this Japan movement because a lot of bringing in a lot of people from different walks of life and different countries have started fueling pockets of hate crime here and there from locals and then a lot of things have just been happening you know and if you have life you go out you come back in one piece something to be grateful for number five is family you see people that were writing there ah my only the achievement i brought my family my only achievement. that's a big massive achievement bringing family is a massive achievement it's something to be grateful for just knowing that ah no matter how we go outside when we come back we just don't know how far now how far oh god i beg oh god help us oh. there's just this togetherness you know number six something to be grateful for is a good plan you will not know the 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 benefit of a good plan until you see people that are in that japan movement that don't have plan your only plan was how you will leave nigeria but you don't have plan as you have landed canada as you have landed uk no plan i pity you because it will not make sense until you have a good plan your whole work in that country will not make sense until you have a good plan whether a plan to stay and become a, a resident or a plan to go to school whatever your plan is have a good plan and um i think guys that's the six points guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section these are things to be grateful for before i start thinking about land in nigeria or this in nigeria and concerning investing in nigeria i'm going to do a separate video let me know your thoughts if you're interested in that video um buying properties um investing in real estate what to look out for things to avoid especially those of you that are abroad you understand i'm going to do a, a separate video on that so guys let me know your thoughts concerning that for me i just feel like investing in nigeria should be like you should take it slowly you know take it slowly most times people that are so obsessed with investing they try not to still visit i will not tell you to invest in a business that you cannot supervise so fish farm and all those things are very big businesses but if you cannot be on ground forget it you can however be like a a sponsor to some of these um farms and co probably they have um, um packages where they'll tell you to buy certain number of fingerlings to earn certain amount of money every month or every year or whatever they have different packages agro investments the monies you make from there you can use it to buy a land that they can use to farm you can farm things like cassava things that are long term you know guys let me know your thoughts because when people keep saying i've, I've not built and bought land in nigeria and built and bought i understand but please give yourself time give yourself time you understand it's okay you're doing well you've brought your children you know you have a job sometimes and people somebody even left a comment that their broad system is not designed to make you save as much as i agree i also disagree if you can try to reduce your biggest expense you don't know what god has done for you you might not be saving a very large chunk but you'll be able to save at least something so your biggest expense is your rent reduce it as much as possible for those of you that your biggest expense is not your rent it's your car note and uh, you are you are driving a car that is bigger than you please that's no, that car is not your size that's the truth that's just the crux of the matter all right guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section for those of us that are abroad if you have stayed one year if you have stayed two three four five years 10 years 40 20 years please let us know how your first year was you know it might be encouraging for her that's if she ever sees this video it might be encouraging for her to know because sometimes people don't like the truth you feel it's discouraging nobody wants to discourage you as far as i'm concerned i want people to even come to canada because you know when shege is experienced in unity if they help would they get discussion some days we can just gather at nathan phillips square and just gather around and be shouting all more you know when doggy and olivia has shown all of us collective shege now we go just go there just sit down they say all more the eating suya you know when we finish we go back home just just this beauty this unity in that collective shege <laughs> so everybody who encourage ourselves iron sharpness iron and we move so if the country wants as much as they want I, I'm, I'm happy to announce that people can come in you know come in guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section so nobody is stopping you from going to uk anytime you see comments where people are trying to be realistic and share their own experience don't shut them up you know people can they use um internet as a way to express themselves being in a country where you're not seeing your friends you're not seeing anything small time you'll be like hey this is in 2004 set uk people shall allow us rest ah oh, calm down if you don't want to watch it scroll up uh -uh. 
sometimes the negativity in this type of this if if the message is not for you it's fine scroll up scroll up for me i just saw it as something that i can relate to i can resonate with i can see that oh there are areas where and then it's even glaring to see why savings have been very hard and all of that she has two children that are so well fed and taken care of so i mean she's just saying from her side and trying to get people to you know echo the same feelings or probably tell her this is what we are doing wrong or this is what we did right that made us save so that she too she can learn you know that's why social media is there guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so for those of you that still are waiting to jackpa what would you say when you watch these kind of videos are you discouraged are you encouraged or are you in a, are you put in a position where you're more enlightened as to how to approach the country before you land like do you and do you like this kind of videos because it gives you like a more realistic perspective guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below hope you enjoyed this video as usual i remember your girl acid darling please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>